see him. Finally, Gabriel's allowed to do something without trespassing or stealing something. Hey, hey, hey! Night, I had a feeling you'd show up. So this is Detective Mosley's office. Looks kind of like Gabriel's room, except a little bit cleaner, but overall it's pretty messed up. Mosley's desk has more groin on it than on his head. Police department memos and other didactic blurbs. Mosley was one of those beefy guys in his youth. Now he's getting lumpy. The badge in his front coat pocket is set off particularly well by the gold polyester of his jacket. Gold polyester. It seems a lurid choice for a cop. You really want to be announcing yourself gold polyester? Eh, whatever. Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. What can you tell me about? Voodoo. There's voodoo that goes on in this city, sure. I looked into it a bit at the beginning of this case. But the voodoo stuff found at the crime scenes is all faked. It doesn't have anything to do with the real stuff. I know, I asked some experts. It's intimidation tactics, that's all. What can you tell me about voodoo? I told you, don't worry about that part of it. It's all faked. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Lots. Can you be more specific? Yay! Now we can get tons of information about what's going on in this case. Do you know anything about the killers? At least 20 people attend the killings. We know this from the variety of footprints found at the scene. Footprints? Aren't those as good as fingerprints? Can be. But we'd have to have a suspect in custody first and the suspect would have to match one of the few distinct prints we have. Most of the footprints are smudged, trodden over, unreadable. These guys are so casual in their expertise, it's madness. Like they know we'll never find them. Well, they're dicking around with the police department. I guess they are pretty good, huh? How many murders have there been so far? Seven murders have so far been linked to the Voodoo Murders case. Now, the first murder occurred about eight weeks ago. The M.O. was the same in each murder. Lake Ponchar Train was the seventh. What kind of evidence have you found? No fingerprints, a few bare footprints. Found a few fibers, but not many. The weirdest one was leopard fur. Leopard, leopard fur? That's weird, leopard fur. Wasn't a leopard in Gabriel's dreams? Maybe... No, I don't think so. Describe the crime scenes. Now there's the corpse itself, minus the heart. Around where the body was killed, we find marks and flour and blood. We saw that in the other There are traces scene. of wax from candles. Red and black. Ordinary wax candles, so the lab reports. Also blood and feathers of chickens. Also goat's blood. And plenty of the victim's own, of course. What's the coroner say? The victim's heart is always ripped out of the chest and missing. We haven't located a single one of them. Lovely. Any idea what they do with them? Don't even want to know. Also, the coroner says some of the victims had heart attacks before the incision. Literally scared to death. The knife wounds are consistent with a long, narrow, wavy-edged knife. Probably a ritualistic dagger. Hmm. Well, the newspaper said no witnesses, but maybe Mosley has something. Any witnesses? Nope. There's never been a single witness. No one's even heard a disturbance. It's damned weird. Like they just don't want people to see, and so nobody sees nothing. Know anything about the victims? The victims are all out of towners. We still don't know why. Oh, nothing, never mind. Sure, no problem. Tell me about yourself. For the book? Sure, why not? 
Okay, what do you want to know? How'd you like working on the police force? Are you kidding? You know I love being a cop. In New Orleans, it's the best place in the world to be one. What are your plans for the future? Well, you know, I don't like to count my chickens before they're hatched, but I don't see why I can't be the chief of police in New Orleans someday. I already know the mayor, and my record is one of the best in the department. I'm sure it's just a matter of moments, mostly. Yeah, yeah, you'll see. Got any hobbies? Yeah, making your life miserable. I'm serious. Don't you shoot or chew or something like that? No, I'm a freaking ballet dancer. Gee. That'd be interesting. Yeah, I was number one at the Louisiana State Fair Marksman Contest. I play trumpet, too. You know, put your lips together and blow. How's your home life? Oh, real funny, Knight. Why don't you just bring in some freaking salt? Well, you know Annie left me. My home life is shit. Right. Sorry about that. Probably should have warned you people that there is going to be mature language in this game, just like there's going to be blood and other things, so... Yeah, this is not rated G. Just tell me anything at all. Remember how we used to play Monkey in the Middle? <laughs> we used to piss off our senior year teacher. What was her name? Ms. McKelly? You'd act like you were going to toss her an eraser or something, then you'd throw it to me over her head. And we used to do it at your grand's, too. Like with the remote when she wanted to watch your soaps? Yep, and it was a great way to pick up women in the library, oh, oh those were the days. Just tell me anything at all. You know, my doctor told me I've got a little family of ulcers starting. I wish this case would end so I'd get some rest for a change. Anything else you want to tell me? Just tell me anything at all. My back hurts. Okay, I think we're scratching the bottom of the barrel here. I'm sure oh, he's got more to say, but mind. let's just move it it's along. It's your dime. What's the status on the voodoo murders case? It's going. Can't seem to make any progress, though. Sluggish damn case. It's weird. Uh, I'm gonna skip asking about coffee. This is pretty late at night, and... Yeah... I got those photographs you left for me. Really? Great. What'd you think? Astonishingly lifelike. Yeah, that's what I thought. Got any more ideas for photos for the book? Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's see what happens when we get that cop author photo. A cop author photo might be nice. You and me? Together? Why not? Of course, you'll have to try to tone down your masculinity. Well, okay. Now I'll call the police photographer. Franks, come here a minute, would you? Bring your camera. Waiting and we're waiting. What did you need, Detective Mosley? We need a picture, please. To make it a good one, huh, sweetheart? Sure, sweetheart. Well, she doesn't seem particularly happy about the chauvinism that takes place in the police department. Say, Chintzy. Was there anything else, Knight? Uh, let's see. Let's take another one. Hold on a sec. Check on my hair. I don't know. I don't know why exactly we're taking the photo. I guess there's nothing else. Nope, that's about it. Great. Thanks, Franks. Hey, I made a rhyme. You're astonishing, mostly. Hey, don't call me that in front of the lady wise guy. 